All right, we're about in the middle of this two mile long tunnel. Listen to this echo. Listen to this. That's straight up creepy. What is good everybody? Today we're going to the abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike. So the abandoned PA Turnpike is a 13 mile stretch of highway that was, you guessed it, abandoned in 1968. And that's all I need to know. I didn't even need to know the 1968 part. All I needed to hear was abandoned and I say where. And the greatest part is there are two very cool tunnels. So the first tunnel is Rays Hill Tunnel. It's almost a mile long, 15 minute walk each way or a three minute bike ride. If you keep going, you're gonna hit Sidling Hill Tunnel. Is that how you say that? I don't know. It's a half hour to walk just one way. If you go one way and turn around and go back, that's an hour of walking in darkness. That's kind of cool, right? Now, when you hit this parking lot, this is where there was a building. The employees would park there. You know you're getting close to the end, and then boom, you're at the new PA Turnpike. Now, I would not recommend parking over here. It looks like you can. I did not see one single car out there. I don't know if it's allowed. It might be allowed, but look at this thing. What is this? They just put this weird thing here? That's kind of weird, so I would just, you know, avoid that. Go park at the other end. That's what we did. That's where our adventure begins. Come along with us. Like and subscribe. Merkel. As you might expect, the abandoned turnpike looks like an abandoned turnpike. You have two lanes with a divider in the middle trees and everything's overgrown i feel bad if you walk this we did that last time and it felt like it took forever if you remember on the way there it was just raining dark disgusting now it starts to get nasty again when we're coming back but this was a beautiful ride Now, you can't just go into the tunnel. I mean, yeah, technically you can just go into the tunnel oh. if you want, but wouldn't it be fun slash funny if I strapped every flashlight I have to my bike? All right, so what do we got on this thing? Okay, so, well, first off, the most important part. All right, but look, we have a spotlight here. It moves with the steering wheel. I have a bar light down here. So this will get everywhere I look, this will get everywhere the bike's going, and this will get the floor just to look cool. We begin our descent. Now we're not actually going down at pretty much at all. It's, it's completely flat level, but that's what it felt like. Stark tunnel. All right, let's see this gear in action. Look at that. Oh, let's get my elbows. Yo. This is OSHA certified right here. It's like we're outside. So if this looks creepy to you, uh, it was. Um, it, I probably would not do this by myself, but I was with my brother and it was just fun. We were just laughing it up. You would encounter random people. Sometimes they don't have flashlights and that's really creepy when you just see someone walking in the dark. Oh, would you look at that? I'm at the end. We continue our journey. This stretch of road is an hour and a half walk, or it took us 30 minutes by bike. Take this out of your next adventure. Woo! I go in there? Oh my god, this one is dark. The second tunnel, approximately twice as long as the first. There weren't many people over here, probably because of the distance and they think if they see the first tunnel, the second one's just the same, but it's not. The next tunnel is twice as long, twice as dark, and dare I say, twice as creepy. 
these buildings do have upstairs. That's where these giant turbines are. It's safest to go around in the grass up the hill to see them. Is this coal? Hey, this is coal. The fresh air turbines ran on coal. Ironic. Now, if you do go up there, don't go to where this guy went. I don't know why he went there, but he can confirm that there's big <laughs> air turbines. Big air turbines. I took pictures of the turbines. This one's dark, buddy. Oh, you hear that creepy wind? Yeah, there's people down there. It sounds like ghosts. <laughs> you can hear the echoes of strangers in the distance. Here, let's turn the lights off right here. You want to? I would rate the graffiti three out of 10. It's not too good. I am the ghost of the turnpike. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple of walkers. How's it going, guys? You begin to lose your mind and forget what the sun looks like. I myself drew a picture of it to put in my pocket so I could look and remember. So here we have the parking lot for the turnpike. There would have been a building somewhere here and the employees, there's some sewer you could see. The employees would have parked here. Probably that, is that the foundation of the building? Yeah, this is the foundation for the building right here. Now there's a pine tree right in the middle of it. Unfortunately, we have to ride uphill all the way back. After what seemed like an eternity. Find an electric bike. Look at this. Wow, I didn't even see this one. It's very relaxing with people, but I feel like if I did this alone, it would be kind of creepy. This abandoned turnpike had abandoned buildings. Double the abandoned. And triple the bike riding. Because uphill is very difficult. A strong wind down the tunnel was pushing us back begging us to stay. And just like that, we were out. Like and subscribe. Yeah, if you like this vid, then I like you. Hey, and you better subscribe too. No, seriously, cut the music, cut the music. Hey, cut the music. You better subscribe.